at the airport and I'm headed to Paris for Paris Fashion Week with L'Oreal. I'm really excited. I've never been to Paris Fashion Week and the last time I was in Paris, I was like 13. So I'm, I'm really excited to go back and I'll give you a look at my little outfit for the airport because I definitely went all out for this. <laughs> My Paris dreams have come true. Okay, we are finally in my hotel room in Paris. I got in at about 9 a.m., but my room wasn't ready till four. So I was just in the lobby, so zoned out. But I've had some cups of coffee, and today I don't have any shows that I'm going to, so I have kind of a free day, or at least the end of the day. So I'm headed to Les Champs d'Elysees. Oh, I totally said that wrong. BRB. I see, I know these things, but then as soon as it comes out of my mouth, it's so wrong. <laughs> I should know way more French than I do. I'm Canadian and I did live in Belgium. A bunch of my friends speak French. I don't know why I was so defiant in learning it when I was younger, but now it's like a mental block. But anyways, I'm going shopping. Uh, I wanna go into Chanel. Not that I'm gonna buy myself a Chanel bag because I do not spend money like that. Two days later. The unboxing of my first ever Chanel. But maybe I'll get like a little scarf to commemorate this trip. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but here's a little rundown of this look. I just added more pinks and I went with this kind of tweed looking dress. So yeah, that's the look. It's a little bit like 90s Chanel inspired. If you guys remember, I did do a tutorial back when Carl passed and what's really cool about this collection with L'Oreal Paris that we are, you know, exploring on this trip is Carl was working on it in collaboration before he passed. So it's one of his last projects and I'm really excited to, you know, play with all the products and show you guys how everything looks. Wait, hold up. The glamour, this is in the room. Ah, oh. And the shoes. go to bed and uh, I'll see you guys early tomorrow and I'll unbox my little Chanel thing I got a little bit later. It's day two, I got some sleep. My camera died on me and my room is already a disaster. This is my look of the day. I went fairly natural with my makeup. I covered a pimple, you can see it. I like can't get that white spot like undone. But for the most part, I'm pleased with my makeup and here's a look at my outfit. And now I'm headed to a Carl Lagerfeld workshop for the day and it's gonna be all about the new L'Oreal and Carl collection. So I'm really excited and I'm running late. So let's go. <laughs> so in this building is the house of Carl Lagerfeld. But in fact, the building is more clown than uh, even the brand. If you see it from the outside, it's very classical, very stylish, very chic, very square, very, which is clown from the outside. And when you come in, you have a crazy family. <laughs> you have now, I think, in the But you also have a fashion that is very accessible. That was countless. Yeah. Super accessible. But the outside, like the facade here, was pretty not to be accessible. And uh, the inside is also a fashion that doesn't take itself seriously, which was now.
the most famous quotes of Cao. Um, personality begins when comparison ends. Hi, Jackie. I'm back. How are you doing? It's really intense. Yeah, that's the point. Girl. <laughs> We're gonna refine it. Okay. Now we're headed backstage to a show, but I switched up my lipstick to this uh orangeyish red and this lipstick is part of the Carl collection except it's not released and it won't be right there's only 200 made so oh. uh -oh. right before the show we have a couple minutes to kill so we did a pit stop to the Eiffel Tower and time for some selfies <laughs> about some of the inspiration behind the hairstyling. Of course, we're using L'Oreal Paris products, and I don't think there's a complete look done yet, but I'll show you the process. I've just been eating fries because I do have like um, appetizers at these parties, but I, don't, I definitely don't want to drink on a basically empty stomach. So we are chowing down on some french fries and I'm so excited to show you guys the dress for this look. Here is the cocktail look. Normally I don't go with anything bold for events like I do in my tutorials, so I thought, you know, I might as well have fun with this. I'm in Paris. And I went with like a full fringe and then I just, I thought it was really fun with the smoky eye and this mini dress also from Revolve. And then I went with yellow shoes. For your debut. Now I'm nervous because we've been waiting. <laughs> it's time. It's time to show the world what you are capable of. Okay, confidence. Yes! Alter ego on. take these bangs out and I'm thinking I'm gonna edit a photo and head to bed. Whew, fashion show tomorrow. Good morning guys, I just had breakfast and I like to curl my hair for events. Um, Um, because then I don't wear extensions. I find when my hair is straight, it looks kind of flat, and then I'm constantly like playing with. 
and I use this tiny wand it's from bedhead it was like 30 bucks and I just curl my entire head I've shown it in videos before I just was saving my battery but then I brush it out and you guys will see such a difference I start with my fingers And then I'll even brush out the front, like fully brush it out. And it starts to look super fluffy. And then I'll use a hairspray. Where's my hairspray at? Okay, L'Oreal gave us this hairspray in the hotel room. This is the Elnette. I love this one. And I just kind of go like that, spread out the curls, make sure they're coated. Usually I'll do this just before I leave. I have like two hours. And just not too much because I like that kind of fluffy, messy look. And then when it does get messed up with like wind and stuff, it looks really cute. Here's my look of the day. I just kind of did a little self timer of it, but I love this top. Hey guys, so we're backstage at Cedric Chatelier. I'm trying so hard with French words, guys. And the look is very natural and glowy. It just kind of got out, of the, got out of the shower and the designs are very feminine, so I can't wait to see the show. Now I'm headed to Chanel. So if you guys saw at the beginning of the vlog, I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a scarf. Like, I'm not gonna go crazy or anything. And then I posted on my Instagram asking what you guys um, thought I got and you all were like you gotta go get a timeless bag so I decided I'm gonna spoil myself and get my first Chanel bag this is not gonna be an everyday thing this is gonna be a once in a lifetime thing for me okay recording okay we are doing the unboxing of my first ever Chanel I already started <laughs> sorry okay so we're opening Sorry. It's luxury. Very luxury. I can't believe I spent this. You'll deserve it. Thank you. show it's starting soon but we're in an amazing location right now oh my god the sky like doesn't even look real and I got my Chanel so I'm very pleased I can't wait this whole trip's a dream
so we just saw the show. It was incredible. The drums were bumping and that was like sensory overload. It was the coolest. I was so excited to see Camila. I didn't know that she was gonna be walking. Um, obviously, she's a face of L'Oreal. I just didn't really think we'd see her. But yeah, we still are got lots of photos going on. The confetti's everywhere and yeah, that was insane. I was like tearing up part of it. It was awesome. Debbie Ryan was in front of me. Gotta love Disney. On the bus after the show, we're going to the cocktail party. So I'm at the after party and I, I completed my goal of the night. Basically, I love Debbie Ryan and I have had like four of these. So I went up and basically stood next to her until she acknowledged me. It was <laughs> not the move. But anyway, I was just like, hi, uh, I lost my friends. Can I like talk to you for a sec? <laughs> and she was really nice. She was like, oh, I totally get that. And um, it was really fun to talk to. So that was a highlight of my night. Now I'm just like a little tipsy and I'm scared because there's a lot of steps and I don't want to fall. But it's been a good time. Update on my phone, my camera uh, died and I took my shoes off. I am barefoot in Paris, which is like nasty. But pain. <laughs> The pain is so real. My other heels were not uncomfortable, but these babies hurt. I want a little souvenir, but I don't have cash. This is just me drunk talking. What a great night though. Aww. It's airport day, so my vlog yesterday cut out because my camera just completely died. I was a little, a little tipsy, but we went out and watched the sparkling Eiffel Tower, went to a cafe and got crepes, which definitely sobered me up. And then now here we are this morning and I got room service for the last time. I was making a little extra set here trying to get a cute hotel photo, but I got some pancakes, um, green apple juice and some coffee here. My camera is so broken. Hopefully, um, I'm just glad it made it through this crazy experience. And to kind of summarize, uh, this was like the best, oh, is someone coming in? No, this was one of the best experiences of my life. I didn't even know like opportunities like this existed. Like when I was younger, I never like dreamed of going to Paris with a brand and like seeing an incredible show. I just had no idea that that was even out there. So my mind is just, completely blown and I'm really inspired. I can't wait to keep on making more content and use the products from the Carl collection. I have a little book that they gave us, The World According to Carl. And another thing, like it was just so cool to be able to hang out with Valeria on this trip. A lot of you were messaging me being like, oh my God, I love her and so do I. Not gonna lie, I was a little bit intimidated because she had a team and I was like, oh my God, like I'm not that put together. But she was so warm and encouraging and she has a great heart. Like she's just a really nice person to be around and like you can just let your guard down and she's one a lot of fun but also really caring and it was so cool that a lot of you watch her and you're admiring someone really awesome so yeah that's the end of this vlog it was an amazing time I'm feeling emotional um yeah I'm just gonna look out the window at the rain in Paris thanks for watching guys <laughs>